How would you like to learn how to hit your drop shot with crazy disguise so that your opponent is completely fooled? Well, let me show you how you can surprise your opponents with this deadly drop shot tip. Hi, this is Jeff Salzenstein, founder of Tennis Evolution and former ATP Top 100 player. And I love teaching players this sneaky move to use the drop shot so that they can gain an unfair advantage and get that winning edge. Let's get to that video right now. One way to develop an amazing drop shot is to make sure that you have clever disguise when you hit the ball, or I should say when you make your first move. That's the key, is when you make your first move on a ground stroke, you wanna be able to disguise the drop shot so your opponent can't read it. Now, here's a disclaimer. If you try to dis disguise your drop shot, but it messes up the quality of your shot because you feel rushed or you're not comfortable, then don't worry as much about the disguise. Just make your move where you're gonna act like you're gonna hit a volley with your first move, and then you're gonna hit the drop shot. But if you can start to develop disguise, it will really take your drop shot to the next level. So on the forehand side, I wanna have my semi-western or eastern grip, and I'm going to make my first move like this. So you'll, know the rack, you'll notice the racket tip gets, uh, gets taken up like this. That's what I always talk about on the forehand. Now, when the ball comes, if I know I'm going to hit a drop shot, I actually use my offhand to change the grip to a weak continental or continental. So here we go, I'm going to hit an inside out drop shot and you're gonna notice that when I move, the racket tip is up and then at the last second, I'm going to change to a continental grip and hit the drop shot. Okay, so that's the key. When I'm moving around the ball, my racket head is up, it looks like I'm going to crush this forehand and then I use this hand to change the grip and then I come inside the ball and hit the drop shot on the forehand side. Now on the backhand side, it's very similar. If I've got a two-handed backhand, I'm gonna start making my first move like I'm in this position right here. And then from here, as the ball is coming, then I can actually keep this grip because I've got my weak continental grip right here. You know, if my grip is over like this on the backhand and I set like this, I'm probably gonna have to use this hand to change the grip at the last second. But I don't have to because I already have that continental grip on the bottom hand. So I'm gonna make this move and then right when the ball comes, then I can just hit the drop shot. So it looks like I'm gonna hit a two-hander. I keep two hands on the racket. I don't move this hand up. I keep two hands on the racket and then I come inside the ball. So let's, let me show you what that's gonna look like. First move. And then at the last second, then I open up the racket face and I hit my drop shot. Again, a lot of people think with the two-handed backhand, oh, I'm gonna hit a drop shot, now I move this hand up. Sure, you can do that, but I like that disguise element of first move, first move, first move, and then, sorry, first move, and then drop shot. I actually move the hand up there, and that's not what I wanna teach. I want the hands together, first move, and then I hit my drop shot. That's for the two-hander. On the one-hander, you can make this first move like this, and guess what? Use this offhand again to help you change the grip at the last second to hit your drop shot. So I'm gonna make a first move. Notice how I use this hand to change the grip. Here we go. Here, and then at the last second, I use this hand to change to that continental grip, and I hit my drop shot. So just to review here, when you make your first move, use your offhand to help you make grip changes. That's very, very important. And make sure that when you make your first move, it looks like you're going to hit a regular ground stroke. That, those are the big keys. Use your offhand to change the grip and make that first move look like you're gonna hit a topspin ground stroke. That's how you can develop that disguise. Pretty cool how you can add disguise to your drop shot that will completely frustrate your opponents, right? This is an underrated drop shot tip that can add another dimension to your game. If you enjoyed this lesson, go ahead and click the thumbs up button and we'd love for you to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you'll be updated with all the latest lessons that we release. Please leave a comment below if you'd like to as well. Thank you for your time today and we'll see you at the next lesson.